Hey, Corso. Oh, also the other uh, You have the to talk to the guards first to get near him. And, uh, and, and his loot, so that way you can play Corso a little too. <laughs> you have to actually talk to the guards before you see Corso. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, hey I, I, I'm Jack Manson. I'm, I'm here to see Corso. We're the one that escorted him here. We need to ask him a few questions. This, they say it's his... He's not... So, not common policy to let people talk to prisoners before transport, but you were the ones who brought him, so... And we have Gallagher, so... Hey! People here to talk to you. Uh, Corso just kind hey, of Corso. doesn't even... Corso doesn't even look up. He just says, Talk to one. What? He says, I'll what? talk to one. Uh, Which one? Uh, Wait, I'm not there. I can't ask that. Which Rock, one? paper, scissors. Sure. No, he, uh, d well, does someone ask which one? Which one? <laughs> He he, he which, lifts which? his head and his his eyes skirt past the bars and they land on Jog. All right, I'll take care of a branch. I'm sorry to drag you down here for nothing. I uh, I go. Well, in. I was coming down can, here. Can I go in the cell with them? No, no, you cannot. You can speak right. at the bars. Uh, so All Gallagher right. and Grant, I assume you take a step back out to the hall to wait. Yeah. And the guards just kind of say, "Make it quick." You got it. All right. Corso. Corso's just kind of sitting, arm, legs and arms up uh, against his chest on the little bed that's in the cell. He's, he's kind of close to the bar, so he can just look at you. Why didn't you fight for your freedom back there? He just kind of shrugs. Or at the very least, have someone do it for you. <laughs> someone to what? Time, someone to what? Well, fight no, I, it, or, oh, fight or even let someone else fight for you. That's you just the did point. Nothing. You just stood it's... there and took it. You didn't explain anything that you did. I've tried it before, and it's never worked. And it was Here's worth a shot, at the very least, right? Everything they said in there. Fifteen years. He, sh he, 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 he there, there's a bit of a chuckle from me. He says, fifteen years." That's not that long. It's still 15 years. You could have gotten less. You could have at least had people understand why you did it. You spoke to that priestess, didn't you? You've spoken so, to Gallagher. Yes. Yeah. You heard what they said there. They, You know what I've done. You've heard my reasons for it, but that doesn't change that I did it. But at least it explains people. They don't just think you're a horrible grave. I don't bitch. care it, what they think about me. Maybe you should. There are things. You saw it yourself. There are things out there that are hunting me for whatever reason. Yeah, and here you're locked in a cell with no way out, being protected by. Presumably, I'm sure some of these guards aren't exactly that. Don't care that much about the. I. This is the spirit of Sep Future. Please remember <laughs> to ask Corso about his vision. <laughs> yes, I, I, I was getting to that. Jesus. Right. Ah, the Let's metagaming pigeon is back. <laughs> All right, so, the other thing is what happened with your most recent vision? What, what, do, you, do you know when you first started getting them? What might have triggered it? Maybe it was a fount. Maybe it was something around. A god, maybe. I don't know. I just... They've always been there. I don't know when they started. The one that I had most recently, it's just like all the others. It's darkness, and then there's... Face, and then there's death. Oh. Some, sometimes I can see what causes it. Sometimes I can't. All right. Do you happen... Have you had any sense then? Any little inklings or nightmares or hints? I saw what killed Grygon. I saw the... The horse on fire sense, and yeah. the man in black. I don't know. Horse on fire and man in black. Yeah, he doesn't know about that. That's interesting. Huh. 
I can't fight this. You could have I've tried, tried fighting this. No, you don't. I've tried fighting the visions, and it doesn't work. Maybe we should stop trying to ignore them and start trying to listen more. That's all I've been doing. I listen and I'm too late. That's how I... he got into the necromancy thing. <laughs> See, you could have explained that to the people and they would have at least had an understanding. Oh, he's not just a grave robber. He's trying to save his person's life. Not just a grave robber, he's crazy too. <laughs> <laughs> he's, kind of grabbing, he's kind of grabbing the sides of his head, tugging a bit at his, at his hair just while you're while you're hearing this. <laughs> I don't care what they think of me because at least if I'm in here, maybe they'll stop. Maybe when whatever that's causing them sees that I can't do anything about them, that I can't follow them, maybe they'll stop. Are you sure there isn't any way you know who it is? Do you occasionally get voices that you know that tell you things? I hear the voices of the ones who are dying. I hear them begging not to go, and then they go. Alright. I'll look into it more, see if I can find anyone who could potentially take it away and give it to someone just, else or something. Whatever's out there. Maybe if it comes for me, it'll stop. At least it'll stop if I'm dead. And if it doesn't come for me, maybe they'll stop on their own. I don't know. There's, I can't be on my own. And I can't... Hey, Corso. Look at me. Me and the rest of the party will do whatever we can to help. We'll try and help more people. Can you just refer to us as the party? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! It's not like we have a name yet. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, and, then, uh, and then I just basically tell them that uh, we'll do whatever we can. We'll try and help more people. And we'll try and figure out whatever the fuck is he, going on. He kind of goes quiet at this. And for the first time, he actually moves towards you, and it's pretty fast. He actually reaches through the bar and grabs onto your wrist. Yeah. And oh, boy. The, 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 you, you hear the guards kind of get up, and uh, you hear the guards move towards you, and before they do, he draws it, you. It, it's okay. It's okay. I, I got, it. He, I got no, it. No, you don't get to say anything before you hear what he says. Um, okay. And you, you hear him say, you can't trust her. You can't trust who? He's breathing. What did he with, say? The one you're with, you can't. You can't. Don't trust her. Split. <laughs> Split right there. No, he's the only one there. Oh. The Branch oh. was with him before, but Splint didn't go with them. Oh. Yeah, no. I don't know. He said, the one with the antlers. <laughs> don't trust her. You mean, you mean Branch? Don't the one trust her. With us. Something's. Her magic, it's wrong. It's empty. The same kind of wrong that I feel every time someone dies before they should and they don't come back. There's something that should be there and it's just. It's not. You can't trust her. That's spooky. Jog has kind of like this look on his face. Like he, he, he he's kind of shocked by this. He's. No. No. Okay. You can't. I, I you can't. Kinda, I kind of push him away from me. He kind of just grabs the, the guard. By now, the guards have come forward and they're pushing him back from the door. And they're they're kind of like, hey, and 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 he, and he's just looking at you with that same wild look in his eyes as when he woke from that vision. And he's just starting to fall into incoherent rambling. His ear beats over and over. He's, it's wrong. It's wrong. You can't trust it. It's empty. It's wrong. Alright, Corso. Maybe she he was saying you can't trust the god that you serve. Oh that's hey, Ellie's thinking. in the chat. <laughs> that's that's kinda of what I'm thinking. Um also so now uh so now just Jog says Good luck, Corso. We'll uh, we'll do what we can. And he turns and he leaves. I'm so pleasantly Very surprised by Jog's feeling. empathy towards Corso. I didn't expect it after everything. But I love it. I mean, he. I mean, he is did take the oath of devotion. So I'm I know I this love guy, it. Like somebody who always. It's got like, nothing. It's got nothing to do with Corso as a person. It's just because of your paladin. Us. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to trying to do it. It's like that's kind of that's kind of this thing. But it's got to burn quite a few quite a few times. But 
he tries I got a to... question. Uh, what's the layout of the palace? Ah, uh, fuck if I know. Alright, Jog, uh, Jog, Jog, Jog heads back to the rest of the group. Did you get anything interesting? Not a whole hell of a lot, honestly. Huh. Just talked to him about visions. He says he hasn't got any visions since. I wonder where Zach's character is. He started just doing crazy ramblings at the end. Coherent. I'm not sure exactly what he was speaking about. Screaming. Mm. But I guess it's I guess it was worth a shot. I'm gonna go on up and go to bed.